drinking one glass of red wine a day slashes men's risk of prostate cancer by around 12%. New research suggests yet moderate consumption of white wine, such as Chardonnay, raises the risk of the disease by 26%. A study found red wine contains around 10 times more polyphenols, a type of antioxidant than white which may explain the findings according to the researchers lead author professor Sharak Shariat from the University of Vienna said it has already been shown that polyphenols which are predominantly found in red wine can have a protective effect in other diseases and other types of cancer Prostate cancer affects more than 47,000 new men in the UK every year one glass of red wine a day slashes men's risk of prostate cancer by around 12 per Send stock related articles previews when next Fitbit launches new female health feature that will tell we watched his heart rate drop mother 27 whose waters broke at just 18 weeks claims she from a water spout that clears block sinuses to the fork and then it was over how share this article share 65 shares is wine good for oral health drinking wine may protect teeth by destroying bacteria that cause cavities and gum disease Research suggested in February 2018, despite many dentists warning booze's acidic content can damage teeth, a study suggests antioxidants in wine significantly prevent bacteria that cause plaque, cavities and periodontal disease from sticking to gums. When these bacteria enter the bloodstream, they can trigger a chain reaction that has been linked to heart disease and cancer. The latest discovery may lead to the development of wine-inspired toothpastes and mouthwashes that contain such antioxidants. According to the researchers from the Spanish National Research Council in Madrid, gum disease affects around 3 in every 4 adults in the UK. Symptoms including sore, bleeding gums during brushing study author Dr. Victoria Moreno Arrival said, oral cells normally constitute a physical barrier that prevents infections, but bacterial adhesion to host tissues constitutes a key step in the infectious process results further suggest antioxidants in red wine are more effective than commercially available grapeseed and red wine extracts at preventing plaque causing bacteria from sticking to lab-grown cells in mottled gum tissue. When digested in the mouth, these antioxidants are thought to produce molecules that may benefit oral health. Combining the antioxidants with the oral probiotic Streptococcus denisoni further boosts dental health. Antioxidants in red wine may prevent prostate cancer Professor Sherriot adds men should not be concerned over their moderate white wine consumption providing. They avoid other prostate cancer risk factors. He believes the antioxidants in red wine may one day be used to help prevent prostate cancer such as smoking and an excessive red meat intake. The European Food Authority has previously stated that polyphenol-rich olive oil prevents blood cells clotting and reduces people's risk of diabetes by improving insulin sensitivity. How the research was carried out The researchers analyzed 18 studies that investigated the effect of drinking wine of any color on men's prostate cancer risk. One glass of wine a day was defined as moderate consumption. The findings were published in the journal Clinical Epidemiology. Overall, the study review included around 611,000 patients. We would not recommend anyone changes their drinking habits. Speaking of the findings, Dr. Ainframe, Director of Research at Prostate Cancer UK said, It is not advisable to make any concrete conclusions about the link between drinking wine and prostate cancer. Risk based on the study and we would not recommend that anyone changes their drinking habits based on these results alone. Instead it's important that all men maintain a healthy lifestyle with a balanced diet and limited alcohol consumption. And familiarize themselves with the three known risk factors for prostate cancer being over the age of 50, having a family history of the disease and black ethnicity. Any man who falls into one or more of these groups should discuss his risk with his GP. 
Just two glasses of wine reduces sleep quality by nearly 40%. This comes after research released earlier this month suggested just two glasses of wine reduces people's quality of sleep by nearly 40%. Heavy alcohol consumption, which these researchers defined as two drinks a night in women and three in men, reduces people's quality of shut-eye by 39.2%. A study found previous research suggests alcohol causes people to spend less time in deep, restful sleep and more time in the rapid eye movement stage, which is when dreams occur. Results imply young people suffer the effects of alcohol more than their older counterparts. Study co-author Professor Taro Milimaki from the Tampere University of Technology, Finland, said, When you're physically active or younger, it's easy, natural even, to feel like you're invincible. However, the evidence shows that despite being young and active, you're still susceptible to the negative effects of alcohol on recovery when you are asleep. Tell me where the freaks at.